in recent years, a particular field of research has increasingly drawn the attention of governments, foundations and private investors. Solar Radiation Management, or SRM. These are technologies designed to reflect or reduce incoming sunlight in order to artificially cool the Earth's surface. A new analysis now clearly shows how much funding is flowing into this field and who the most significant contributors are. The first chart illustrates how strongly annual SRM funding has increased since 2007. In the early years, the amounts were very low and remained in the single-digit million range for quite some time. Around 2010, activity begins to pick up for the first time before funding declines again in the years that follow. Things become far more dynamic starting in 2018. From that point onward, investments rise year after year. And especially from 2020 onward, a clear trend emerges. Funding accelerates sharply and reaches new record levels in 2023 and 2024, exceeding 30 million US dollars per year. In the lower part of the chart, it becomes clear who is driving this development. Government funding dominates the early years, but from the mid-2010s onward, contributions from philanthropic foundations increase significantly. And since 2020, the largest share of overall solar radiation management financing has become primarily from private and philanthropic sources. Commercial investors are also growing, although at a slower pace. Overall, this chart shows that SRM financing has accelerated in the recent years and is increasingly driven by private actors. The second chart shows the 10 largest funders of SRM up to the year 2030 and highlights in particular the growing importance of philanthropic players. In first place is the government of the United Kingdom, providing 91.3 million US dollars, making it by far the largest single contributor. In second place is the Simons Foundation with 50 million dollars. Third place goes to the United States government, contributing 39 million dollars. In fourth place is the Quadrature Climate Foundation with 24.2 million dollars, followed by the Australian government in fifth place with 22.6 million dollars. In sixth place is the commercial actor AWZ Ventures with 15 million dollars, followed by Open Philanthropy in seventh place with 14.7 million dollars. The European Union ranks eighth with 10.3 million dollars. In ninth place is Bill Gates, contributing 9.7 million dollars. And in 10th place is the V. Can Rasmussen Foundation with 7.5 million dollars. Taken together, the data shows that five of the ten largest funders are philanthropic foundations or individuals, and they now surpass the investments made by most national governments. 